All right, it is about that time to wrap up the final limited time series of the current version, 7.1.5. And of course, it is for the Lamborghini Hurricane GT3, which is the fourth car, fourth new car in the new motorsports category, IMSA GTD. So 93% complete. That means just three more gold trophies left in this final tier, tier 15, which you need the PR 79.5 to complete. And of course you can get there by getting three upgrades ac across the board while spending some 428 gold, right? I think that was the number. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, get rolling here. Start with elimination at Brands Hatch. All right, so right now it's Thursday here, um, March 28th. So we got maybe like maybe three and a half days left before this limited time series expires, and that's about the time when we're expecting the new version. Uh, 7.2 to roll out on the April 1st and uh, I don't know if you guys watched uh, the real racing TV thing on the on their YouTube or in the game you can also see it from the access the video from the main home screen right where they're talking about the new cars uh, they didn't really mention anything about new if they're gonna be if they're going to have any special events or whether it's going to be another um, limited time series packed uh, version. So hopefully they have some special events. But we will see. And uh, from what they've announced, they're going to be featuring the Inza prototype cars. So that's kind of cool. Uh, they, from what I've seen, they do look a lot like uh, the LMP1s, the you know the prototype cars, right? So and uh, yeah, and let's see, they're gonna have Honda finally introduced in Real Racing Three, starting with I think a S2000, right? Those are fun little cars. Gotta love those little Hondas. Um, and let's see, what else were they going to feature? Yeah, um, that's at least what I remember from their announcement. So, um, they're expanding this uh, new motorsports section they've just given us with the current version, in the right category. So we got the GTDs in this version, the four GTDs, and the uh, next one we're gonna have some prototypes. So, it's gonna cost quite a bit. So we'll see <laughs> if they're gonna give us any means of recouping some of these costs. Um, of course, this version, they've had some team events. If you run solo, you could snatch some like two, 300 gold in some of those grinder events. Um, at one point, I used to run those things. <laughs> and, you know, when you have friends that you're running that with, it's a little bit more entertaining to do it. But, uh, you know, many of them have since retired from those events because, you know, real life issues, right? Um, so, yeah, and the those grinders can be pretty brutal. So I don't know if I have what it takes to do those again. Um, it was fun while it lasted. That's where I'm gonna leave it at. Um, let's see. But uh, returning to the event that we're running at the moment here. Um, I don't know, all four cars have slight edge over another, right? So, so far, the, out of the four new IMSA GTD cars that I've driven, um, I like Ferrari. Um, 
I think it's for my driving I seem to get the best results although currently at the moment my weekly time trial record is set with the Acura NSX GT3 so yeah between Acura and uh, Ferrari that's a tough call um, let's say mix this Lamborghini in the in the mix um, this one of course has the highest top speed with a sl uh, slight sacrifice on the grip um, so that's that's okay for uh, I feel like for a hurricane it's got a pretty decent grip <laughs> um, I know it's the least grippy one out of the four but still um, all four cars do have I feel like a pretty monster grip on the track at least when I was taking it out on some of the different tracks like uh, Mazda Raceway with the current weekly time trial going on you know they, they, they hold pretty well in my opinion and uh, let's see Beamer M6 it's the I think it's the toughest car to set good time simply because the its edge is on the grip and braking distance and not on the speed and acceleration so you have to be really really precise with the cornering on how far you can push that car because like the thing about Ferrari that I like <laughs> is or and actually for that matter uh, Lamborghini the thing I like about these two cars is that they are perhaps a little bit more forgiving of your um, small mistiming on the apex because of the top speed uh, once you hit the longer straights you can kind of recoup the you know kind of cover for your error if you will of course that all depends on the type of circuit that you're running obviously more uh, curves on a circuit you probably won't get as won't benefit as much from having a higher top speed um, but uh, like this week's time trial the Mazda Raceway does have a decent number of pretty fast sections where you can run flat out without breaking through corners so anytime you have a circuit like that you can really take advantage of the higher top speed on Ferrari and uh, the Hurricane the Lamborghini here so yeah so if you're trying to race the Beamer and this week's time trial and try to be competitive I feel like that's gonna be a little bit uh, harder not impossible to do you know if you're good you can make any cars into top ranks right I mean that's what makes you a top rank racer um, but uh, at least I think with my skills I find it a little bit trickier to get a better better time with the Beamer versus uh, remaining three cars um, anyway here we are back to the limited time series uh, we got 93 and uh, 97% complete now with one final cup race remain uh, if you want to skip that does cost 30 gold but we got plenty of time to run through and it's gonna be a Suzuka Grand Prix PR 79.5 as I mentioned earlier it's gonna be a three lapper and uh, yeah let's uh, wrap this up shall we so of course um, after this let's see maybe I'll do another uh, upload another auto battle videos if you guys enjoy those um, and the, that series since now I have like some you know uh, more than a couple of videos in that um, playlist 
started out with, uh, I think my first one I did was uh, Aston Martin uh, GTE, uh, the 2012 version versus, uh, what's the newer one, 2017 version, right? Uh, that was, uh, I think I used the uh, endurance race for that one at Mount Panorama. So that was, uh, why did I pick endurance? I, I think that was the one event that I noticed both cars, because both uh, there is no series that feature both cars together. So I had to pick a race in two different series. One for the 2012 uh, Vantage GTE and the other one with the 2017 version. And the uh, one that I just picked out in this for that video was the of course Endurance at Mount Panorama. I'm sure if I look harder I probably will find other races that feature the same track with the same lap count kind of deal. But uh, you know, it's just for fun. It's not exactly a very scientific uh, comparison since you know yeah <laughs> and uh, let's see then there's that uh, long 10 lapper at Mount Panorama I think um, I did with the V8 supercars I think it was a Holden that I used uh, Commodore I think I don't think I used the Ford for that one or um, Ultima but uh, yeah one yeah and then of course the the recent one's been all yeah I guess I have I must have five videos I think um, in that auto battle uh, series so I might do a few more we'll see depending on how much time I can uh, spend playing this game before the next update rolls out of course because once the next update rolls then rolls out then we'll be you know I'll be busy with the new series but while we're kind of waiting after this one stay on track um, I'll, I'll see if I can uh, get some more fun videos let's see and I'll have to pick out which cars I don't know if you guys have a preference. Um, so far, all three the IMSA GTD Auto Battles been really comparing the new car or new manufacturer since they're all new cars. Um, Acura NSX versus whoever, right? Um, I guess I don't have to necessarily stay within IMSA. Um, class cars I can have you know <laughs> Acura versus uh, Porsche for all we care right um, put it up against the uh, I don't know Sylvia <laughs> or something of course we do have other GT3 cars not in that uh, motorsports section so maybe we can maybe I can do some of those uh, we'll see we do have some Mercedes GT3 cars, right? Um, and obviously we do have Porsches. So, hmm, maybe that would be interesting. Anyway. Uh, A final lap. So I don't know if you guys have a favorite out of the four cars. I think uh, Acura gets a little bit of a bonus edge on the favorability scale simply because it's a new manufacturer, right? Um, and it does drive handle rather rather well. So difficult to uh, hate on that, you know? Maybe the downside is that these cars are quite pricey, right? 
the price of entry is 428 gold, I think, as I was saying, in order to run through these uh, limited time series. And to win the card, that's the how much you're gonna have to invest. Of course, you get 100 of, 100 of it back. So that means uh, 328 gold net cost for the car to come out with so many upgrades, right? Uh, which allows you to run through the um, bonus series. Not bonus series. Why am I referring to it as bonus series? It's in uh, motorsports series. And of course, there's a, oh, another 10 free gold, uh, even if you don't win the car by running through the exhibition series. So then if you count all of that into your calculation, um, you know, it, it does cost, let's see. So with the limited time series earnings, uh, the car's net cost with 21 upgrades end up being 328 gold, right? Um, and then the exclusive, not exclusive, uh, exhibition, the other E series. Um, exhibition series gives you 10 gold for running through quick five tier event, right, series. Uh, so then that brings down the cost to 318. And then um, there's some 75 gold reward in the 2018 season but obviously in order to complete that and win all 75 gold you do need to put some more upgrades so but i think with the limited time series pr you should be able to complete like 75 percent completion which should get you another like i would say somewhere around 30 40 gold uh which of course brings the cost of your car uh, from 428 to let's see 328 318 and um, all right so slightly under 300 gold so 270 280 gold would be the um, net cost if you run through all of it and of course that is assuming that you get only one car since that's all you really need to complete the series, all right? And uh, in my case, of course, I just won my last uh, fourth um, in the GTD car. So I've spent actually quite a bit more than just um, slightly under 300 upgrades, at uh, 300 upgrades, 300 gold. Um, but uh, that's uh, another way to think about it. It has been a pretty expensive uh, update. In fact, last few updates when we only had the limited time series, I feel like it's been pretty expensive across the board. So um, I guess developers need money to uh, live on too. What do you know? Yeah. But anyway, um, so that does it for this series. Hope you guys enjoyed, found it helpful. Um, and uh, stay tuned for more videos, more racing. Um, and uh, as I said, maybe I'll do uh, another uh, video with these guys on the Mazda Raceway time trial this week. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll have something for you. All right. Take care.